I just want to start off by showing you the length of my locks and the materials needed for this style. I've used Marley hair that matches my hair color or any of your preference. Edge control, gold hair braiding string that you'll see at the end, crochet tools, you don't need to, but I just had to, and rubber bands and a ponytail holder. First, I section off the front half of my locks. And then I secure the rest of my locks with a ponytail holder so that it's out of the way. And then I section the area where I will be doing the first barrel twist. dry and itchy scalp. Don't forget to oil in between each section. So I like to twist my roots as I go because sometimes your whole head doesn't need to be retwisted. Then I wrap a lock over another lock that's next to it a few times so that it's joined together. And then I grab another loose lock and wrap that lock over the join locks in the opposite direction. I'm going to continue doing my method and alternate wrapping directions until I get to the end of that section. And then I secure it with the rubber band. that section is done you just pull it back with the rest of the hair so that it is out of the way as you continue styling your locks so I slow mode it so that you can see the details of me alternating wrapping directions for the barrel twist um it's pretty simple So the top half is finished and now we're just going to section off each little section and cornrow it back. Okay, so here's the fun part. Let's add a crochet hair. Okay, so you're going to take the crochet tool and poke it under a lock. And then you're gonna place the Marley hair on the hook and close the latch. Make sure it's closed while you pull it through. And then once you pull it through, you can move the tool. And I like to hold on to the ends of the hair as I pull a side through so that they both don't slip out. Okay, so here I just tie a knot and I just double knot this actually. Just do it twice to make sure we secure it in place.
Okay, so I like to do the sides first and then the top of my hair because this pretty much covers the rest of my locks and then I can just fill in the rest sporadically just to get the fullness and see. That's that and then I pull my hair back. Then voila. It's done, I'm wearing my hair in a ponytail, and now it's time to add the accessories. So I cut four small sections out of the gold string that I'm going to end up crocheting in between my barrel twists. All right, so you need to find a starting point that's gonna allow the string to make X's all the way down through the barrel twist. see all that like burgundy which is my locks I end up having to like fill that up with more crochet in between those little spots I didn't see it to after I did my hair <laughs> but anyways now you're just gonna tie a knot actually I tie this knot three times just to secure it and then cut the ends the excess string and continue this method all the way through to the other side of the barrel twist Continue doing that so that you can have your finished look. This 